It's lose lose for Mike. If he loses to Todd Hutchins, looks terrible for him. He's on the floor. This is Sparta! Guys, I hope you're all having a great day. So, I wanted to talk about Monster Factory 2. Monster Michael Todd is bringing us an event. I think it is amazing. Between Ing and Larry Wills, Monster Michael Todd, I mean, Tavis Bajan's doing his thing. All these events being brought to us are absolutely amazing. It's giving us so much stuff to watch because with all the big leagues like PAL, WAL not doing anything right now, we have people stepping up and giving us bigger events than they ever could. East versus West and King of the Table have been absolutely incredible, bringing the best athletes to the events worldwide. Um, and then Monster Michael Todd's bringing us some good events. Um, I guess first we'll talk John Berzink versus Corey West. On paper, John Berzink should get crushed. Corey West is 450 pounds. There's weight limits. There's belts for different weight classes for a reason. It doesn't matter what sports you go to, whether it's boxing, MMA, Olympic or collegiate wrestling. There's weight classes for a reason. And it's on all main sports. And obviously, we want arm wrestling to get to a level where it's considered a mainstream sport. We're seeing it on ESPN and shit. There will have to be more. There have to be stricter rules with weight classes. That's just reality. At the end of the day, I think John Brzezink's going to win. I think John Brzezink's been back in the game long enough. He's strong enough. He's getting his hands stronger to where he needs to be. How's Corey's West little peck tear strain going to affect him that he had against uh, Alex Kardecho? Is that going to affect him against John? Is Corey West going to learn from his mistakes from losing to Todd Hutchins? He had the flash pin, but after that, Todd made the adjustments to beat him. I just think with Corey West still being newer to the sport, he wasn't able to adjust on the fly the way Todd Hutchins was. And that just shows the experience. I think John's going to win. It'll probably be, I think it was his best of five, I'm guessing. It'll probably be 3-1. If it's best of five, 3-1. Uh, and then we got Todd Hutchins versus Monster Michael Todd. The match in itself, it's awesome. You got two big names. What I don't like, and maybe this is just me being a hater because I do talk a lot. Like, Michael Todd, he's a good arm wrestler. He had a great career. He's doing a lot for the sport. But I give the dude a lot of sl slack. I, I hate him a lot, and this is another one of them. With him being in the trajectory he's been going, losing to the last three super heavyweights, I do not think he needs to be dropping down in weight class, facing a smaller man by 35 pounds or whatever the weight difference is. Because it's lose-lose for Mike. If he loses to Todd Hutchins, looks terrible for him. He's on a four-match losing streak. If he beats Todd Hutchins, everyone's going to say, well, Mike, you're arm wrestling dude in a lower weight class going for a title at 110 or 100, whatever it is. And Mike's a super heavyweight. I think it's lose-lose with Mike taking on a smaller opponent, no matter how good the dude is. The reality is Mike needs to be facing other super, super, super heavyweights. If he wants to get his name out of the mud and have people quick run their mouth about him, he needs to start winning against dudes in his same weight class who are an elite. Todd Hutchins elite, but he's a smaller man. There's weight classes for a reason. And especially in today's arm wrestling with everything being so advanced, you can't be John Brzezink from 20, 30 years ago dominating all the bigger guys. That's just not going to happen. John Brzezink said it now that he would not be able to go and do what he did in the past against LeVon and Retali. It's just not going to happen. Weight classes are a thing for a reason, and Monster Michael Todd needs to stay in his weight class. That's just my opinion. Will some of y'all disagree with me? Of course. Will some of y'all agree with me? Of course. I think Michael Todd's the most, well, maybe, I think Devin Lair, because he's a bigger name, is the most hated arm wrestler. But Michael Todd in the spectrum is the most hated arm wrestler in the sport. Partially because of all the, he's delusional, Michael Todd, because this dude's still talking. It's, it's going to be 2045. I'm coming back to new me, guys. I'm going to win. But monster Michael Todd is going to beat Todd Hutchins, and he's probably going to shut him out. And like I said, it's going to be lose-lose. I think Michael Todd will probably lose, or he'll win 3-0 or 4-0, depending on how many rounds it's going. Super 
I think it might be six rounds. I don't fucking know. He's going to win, though. I love Todd Hutchins, but this weight class is for a reason. That 35 pounds of muscle and power, height, you can't make up the difference of it. And then we got my boy Paul Lynn. What's this dude's name he's facing? Versus Fokakis. I don't know a lot about Fokakis. I saw him on Monster Michael Todd's last event. I'm going to go Paul Lynn. Paul Lynn's been on a tear right now. He's been beating some big names. Some of the guys were a little smaller than him. Yes. I don't. I mean, could Fokakis win? Yeah, I don't. I just don't know enough, enough about him. I'm gonna go Paul Lynn because that's my guy. He's a super nice dude. And then we have um, Toller versus uh, Kangenham. How the? I guess that's how you say his name. I'm gonna go Toller. I honestly don't know. I don't know too lot about either one of these guys. But I'm gonna go Toller. Those are my prediction, guys. Those are my thoughts on the match. I think Mo Monster Michael Todd's the man for putting this on, and he's doing it for free for everyone to see. So you can't beat that. But man, appreciate y'all stopping by Grip and Rip. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe. It means the world. Y'all stay strong and have a good one. Peace.